so yeah, I think if, if it's somebody I don't know, I, I like getting to know them and there's going to be something, some crossover of interests between any two human beings, no matter how different they are. Mm. Um, and I think that's a lot like when we, um, we us composers write for performers. I think, <laughs> I think a lot of the time what we're looking for is what that overlap is. Where do my interests coincide with your interests? And, mm. and in that shared environment, like what can we do in that space? Let's say I want to write uh, for Rosie. I'm going to want to know what kinds of, uh, what, what artists Rosie likes to listen to. Um, whether she's listening to The Roots or, or she's listening to um, the latest Isuri Quartet record or something like this. A lot of musical theater, a lot of Hamilton still at the moment. <laughs> cool. That's a way of getting to know someone, like reading a book that's, that a friend lends you or, or just getting into the space of what their musical values are. And I think that it's also important for me to bring my values to the table too. So mm -hmm. I'm always listening to things and trying to be really honest about when something really resonates with me artistically or with my feelings. I think of it as a, a collaboration uh, or a conversation where we're, we're kind of zeroing in on something. Involving performers in what that conversation is, is important to me. Mm -hmm.